Director for Americans for Prosperity, Georgia. And it is so exciting to see all of you out this afternoon because every one of you know exactly why we're here. The students behind me know exactly why we're here. Common Core is a rotten apple, rotten to the core. And it is the wrong direction for Georgia education. Our activists are all over the state. We have 55,000 activists spread around the state. And last year, I spent the bulk of my year traveling the state from all the way to St. Simons, all the way up to Jasper, talking to folks about school choice. Everybody remember the news a couple of years ago, we had a discussion about school choice. And what did school choice mean? It meant more local control. And what did we mean by that? The most local form of control is the control that a parent has in their own home, working with the decisions that their children will live under the education that they receive. That is school choice. Common Core. Common Core is just the most recent example of a top-down, autocratic, federal bureaucratic control of our state-run education system, it moves in the opposite direction of what we want, which is more school choice. And I say that a long history, because at least five times within the last two decades, the federal government has tried a scheme that most recently we see as common core. President Bill Clinton tried it with Goals 2000. President George W. Bush tried it with No Child Left Behind. President Barack Obama has tried it with Race to the Top and the Common Core funding. All of those programs have one thing in common. They all failed to increase student achievement and they failed to prepare students for their own future success. What we see is what you see. Georgia has a constitutional role to play. It is in our state constitution that we will provide as one of our primary functions a basic education, a quality education to students in K through 12th grade. That's our role, that's our obligation. We do not need a federal government coming in and telling us how to run our education system and the future for our kids. pulling us back from the break and back from full implementation of Common Core, realizing the danger that the data systems had in the state of Georgia, realizing the danger that the cost itself had on the state of Georgia. But my answer is pretty simple in this 2014 legislative session. Just two weeks ago, the, the, the governor proposed a budget that included $547 million additional dollars to state education. Now, regardless of what you think of that decision, the bottom line is, if we believe in our state education system enough to give another $547 million to implement education in the state of Georgia, then we ought to believe them, them enough to come up with the standards that our schools will live by, creating our own curriculum standards. I believe we have enough ability to do that, and I think everybody in this building believes so as well. Uh, Senator Lincoln has been in the fight since the very beginning. Jane Robbins, Concerned Women for America of Georgia, Tanya Diddy, all have been leading in this fight to repeal and pull away from Common Core. Angela Bean, I see so many of you out here leading in this fight along the way. What we need now is to start the process of pulling ourselves back from the brink and give these children behind me a future and a hope, and that starts with pulling us back from Common Core.